The overall goal of this procedure is to produce biodiesel from commercially available isochrysis algae while allowing for the co-isolation of long-chain alkanones as valuable co-products. This method can help answer key questions in the renewable energy field, such as are algal biofuels viable alternatives to petroleum-based fuels? The main advantage of this technique is that the algae we use is already grown industrially and can be purchased in multi-kilogram quantities from several commercial suppliers. Plus, these particular algae biosynthesize a unique suite of lipids known as long-chain alkenones that can be isolated as a co-product. Demonstrating the procedure will be John Williams, a graduate student in my lab. To prepare the commercially available wet isochrysis paste, cut a small hole in a 1 kilogram package and squeeze approximately 300 grams onto a 150 by 75 millimeter crystallizing dish. The paste is approximately 80% water, dark green, nearly black, and has a pungent odor. Air dry the paste to create a layer that is about 20 millimeters thick. Scrape the dry biomass into a cellulose extraction thimble of known mass. Then, record the weight of the isochrysis biomass. Transfer about 50 to 60 grams of dry isochrysis into a Soxla extraction apparatus. Then, fill the Soxla flask with 400 milliliters of hexanes. Turn on the condenser water and heat source and allow the Soxla to cycle.